Patrick McDonald and I own McDonald's Highway. And today we're on a road trip to Ohio. I'm going up there because they bought a finish link system. I was able to help them out. I, uh, I also do sales for BS Athletics. So as part of that, they were able to purchase a, a brand new system from me. I was able to help them spec it out to what they need. They are currently doing road race timing, starting with cross country timing a little bit more aggressively. And eventually they want to do some track and field as, as far as I, I can understand. So we got them a vision. Uh, we got them actually just the bronze package is kind of what their, their basic, uh, one of their more entry level kits. Uh, but we got them a couple of upgrades from there, and you know, I'm excited to, to give them a hand with, with what they're looking at and what they're trying to do and make sure that they can do what, what they were hoping to with the software and, and the hardware. So we spent the morning going over links, uh, what it is there to do, common problems that, that I found and ways to fix them. Um, and then, you know, making sure and a big, big part of, of links and the challenge of links is actually just getting it set up and running. And I know that sounds pretty uh, terrible, but uh, when, when it is running, it's very, very easy to keep it running, typically speaking, knock on wood. But uh, when, when you're faced with it for the first time, trying to actually load it up, and, and get the cameras loaded and get everything working um, and then the initial settings because the initial settings that, that you'll have when you load up a camera for the first time in any computer are, are default settings and they're not what you're eventually going to, to want them to be at. So you know, spend most of the morning doing that, spend a little bit of time in the afternoon doing that. The afternoon uh, we spent actually mostly working with uh, the communication between their race result chip reader system and um, finish links to make sure that they can do what, what they really want to do in the most powerful and reasonable way. So they've been using race result stuff for quite a while and they're, they're very proficient at it. Um, you know, this is just an added layer of security for them, uh, you know, when they go to these these bigger events, you know, bigger cross country events, having that that extra layer, you know, having the camera there is really important. In fact, in one of the first races that we we had, we did have to actually make a reversal. Uh, the chip said one thing, but the cameras showed something else. And this is the very first year of a new set of rules from the National Federation of High Schools that mean that you actually do time it based on the person rather than the the transponder chip. So may have had the first reversal uh, of the, in the nation of this new rule. Um, but, you know, ultimately being up at CRC is fantastic. Uh, I know I've known Eric and, and Matt, two of the owners, for a really long time. In fact, we used to race uh, against one another back in college. Here's a photo of me. Um, I'm, I'm up in front. Eric is, and Matt are, are, are behind me, and, and I, I won that race amazingly. So, um, But it was fantastic, and I, I was super appreciative to come up there and spend some time with them and help them out. And it was a lot of fun getting to, to work with them, and I'm really wishing them the best of luck.